when it comes to keeping your fire stick clean, deleting everything that you don't need, stuff that's like hidden deep in your fire stick throughout the years that you can't normally find, ES File Explorer is like the number one app for cleaning your fire stick when it comes to all those things. So I'll be showing you how to install it in this video, but just keep in mind that there's some things I can't show you, so we're going to skip past the last couple steps, but I have those steps down in the video description box for you. This version you see in here is an older version, but it still works well, but I can show you better than I can tell you. So let me give you a quick example of how it works. So this is my space right now. It's a lot of stuff left over. Let me just show you. So under local here, I'm gonna go to internal storage and you can already see like a lot of stuff that that's been left over for years like apps like that one and this one here I haven't used these in, in so long but it still has like little leftover files but let's go to, to the downloaded folder and here you can see like a ton of stuff that's left over but yeah let's go ahead and clean it up real fast All right, clean now. All right, clear that up. I'm gonna press and hold the select button. So it gives me an option to select all these files I wanna delete. All right, I got all of them selected. Drop down to the bottom, select delete. No, we don't wanna move it to the recycle bin. We just wanna get rid of it forever. Okay, again, I'm gonna press and hold the select button. So it gives me an option to select everything I wanna select. I don't have that, I don't have that, uh, I don't have that anymore. Drop down to select delete. You wanna delete it forever, so this select that, select okay. All right, got rid of some more stuff. You get the gist of it, but there's one more thing I wanna show you. Say if you um, watch the show or, or did the D word with the show. <laughs> and if you can't find it in your fire stick, it seems like it's lost in your fire stick for some reason. This is a good way to find them too. So this takes up a lot of, a ton of space. Without ES File Explorer, I would have never found this. So it's good. So now I can go ahead and get rid of that. So that knocked off about, my mouth is messed up, but I think at least over one gigabyte around two gigabytes that's what we got now let's go ahead and go to the settings just to make sure that's legit yeah it's legit now we got that out of the way let's go ahead and get the app so step number one if you knew I'm gonna go through all the steps so we don't leave anybody behind so step number one, let's go to the settings. From the settings, go to My Fire TV. From My Fire TV, go to Developer Options. Drop down to Outs from Unknown Sources. And we need to turn this on. So once you select it, it'll ask you to select Turn On to agree to the terms. So you can go ahead and do that. Now we need to download the app. All you guys should have to download the app, but just in case someone doesn't. You go to this bar here, on the wrong bar, you know? Go to this bar, select find, from find, go to search, from search. Start typing in down, but you should see it because it's a popular app, so as soon as you select D, you'll see downloader pop up. So there it is, go ahead and select it. It's the orange icon here. Once you get here, you can go ahead and select download. And we're gonna wait until it finishes installing and downloading. But I do have to say, this is, when we get the download app open, it's a step that we had to skip. But again, check the video description for like all the steps, the, the remaining two steps. Cause I can't show you everything on YouTube. Last time I tried to um, show you guys how to get this out, YouTube just took the video down, so. This is to try to stop them from taking the video down 
and still help you guys get the app. So please <laughs> understand, all right? So once you get the download app open, make sure you select allow. Don't never select deny. If you select deny, it doesn't give the download app permission to install apps on your device. So we're gonna select allow. You can skip this by pressing OK or the back button. Now, make sure your cursor is right here. So you'll just press the select button here to bring up the keyboard and just check the description and I have all the other steps for you. So once you follow those steps in the description, you'll have everything you need. And if you have any problems, just leave me a comment. So we briefly went over how to use ES, but if you have any questions about how to do anything else with ES, if it's possible, I'll tell you how to do it in the comment section. All right. So that's it for this video. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate. And I'm out.